What's up YouTube? My name is Cameron Doherty here with Cameron Doherty Tech. Back with another tech video and we're going to be looking at an age-old question. I've got my brand new gaming PC here. I've got my brand new next generation gaming console over here. And unfortunately, I'm left with just one ethernet cable. How do we solve this conundrum? Who gets the cable? Do we dedicate it to our PC where maybe we're doing some work and other things outside of gaming? Do we dedicate it to the gaming console to make sure that that gaming experience is as smooth and as fast as possible? Or do we bounce it between the two every time we want to switch, removing it from the back of one, fumbling around the back of the other to try and find the port to put it into? Uh, if this is something you've run into, you might already know the answer. If you're you know, deep into the tech world, you might know the answer. But if you don't, we're going to explain that. We're going to look at an interesting new product in this area. So the, the answer to how do you solve this problem is really a simple one. It's with an Ethernet switch. And so this is by TP-Link. This one's a few years old. Uh, this is something that I've had for quite some time and I've used for this exact use case for quite some time. Uh, an Ethernet switch is a pretty simple device. You've got numerous Ethernet ports in the back here. Uh, and you're going to have one that's going to be dedicated to your Ethernet, your internet coming in, and then all of the others dedicated to your Ethernet going out. So in this case, we've got eight ports. Uh, we're going to have one coming in, and you can have as many as seven going out to different devices. So we could be hooking up our computer. We could be hooking up the gaming console. Maybe we want, we've got an Apple TV. Maybe we've got uh, some other internet connected device with an ethernet port and we want to make sure that all of them have the fastest internet connection possible so they don't have to rely on a wi-fi connection so that's the problem that's solved here and this is like i said this is something i've had for several years uh it's a little bit clunky it's a little bit large but ultimately it's a utility product it's something that sits you know in a drawer behind a desk on a desk you know under a desk it could be anywhere uh but i think for the last several years, the technology here has kind of passed me by because I was shocked when we moved into a new house. I now had another use case where I needed another one of these, so I just went on to grab this. I tried to get the, the same thing, basically, and I was intrigued by a slightly different offering, and so I went ahead and bought it. And honestly, when I, when I received the package, as soon as I looked at the box, I laughed um, because this is what I got. And I couldn't believe, now granted this is an eight port and this is a five port, but I couldn't believe the size difference. I couldn't believe, I was like, there, there's no way you fit one of these into here. Uh, this wasn't advertised as a super small device. This wasn't advertised as something that was revolutionary. This was just essentially a newer version of this. Uh, and so I, I wanted to do a little unboxing just because I thought this was comical and adorable, quite frankly, when I, when I saw how this arrived. And so let's take a look at what, at what we've got here with this, with this new TP-Link Ethernet switch. And here it is, this, this beautiful, tiny little thing. You put it right on top of there. This does indeed have five Ethernet ports on the back and really almost no other real estate. This is, this is like the equivalent of getting a modern day laptop that has very small bezels compared to an old clunky TV you've had kicking around in your bedroom for years. And it's just really funny to me how I didn't even know this existed. I had no idea that we had gotten this far where we've got these little tiny devices that actually come in cheaper than, than these larger ones and you know makes it really easy to throw this into whatever use case you have. Uh, there's even mounting, uh, mounting holes that you can mount this thing on the inside of uh, you know, a, a cabinet or something like that, whatever your use case calls for, you can make sure that you can have it uh, in the right place. So yeah, this this device, if you're interested, this is the TP-Link uh, LightWave LS1005G, uh, and this is a gig gigabit speed ethernet uh, switch. And so in this case, with five ports, this can do up to four devices. Uh, inside the box, other than the device itself, we've just got an installation guide. And at the bottom here, we have the charger, which has not had uh, the light years of improvements in size, unfortunately, but still a pretty tiny charger. So, you know, the whole package here makes it nice and easy to plug this in, toss it wherever you need to, 
and really solve the age-old conundrum. So making sure that no matter what you want to do today, whether it's working, whether it's gaming, whether it's gaming, whatever it may be, you can make sure that you have the fastest connection possible and uh, really enjoy the smoothest and best experience. So this is the, the TP-Link LightWave, interesting product. Um, this is, you know, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. Is everybody aware of this already? Am I just way behind the times or is this surprising? You know, are we, are you guys in the same boat as me where you've got one of these that you've just never had to replace? Uh, and all of a sudden seeing this makes you have the same reaction of, wow, how, how did they get that small? When did they get that small? Uh, you know, for a, a simple product, I thought it was something that was pretty interesting. So if you wanna see more content like this, unboxings, tutorials, uh, tips and tricks, different things like that. There's going to be plenty more coming. Uh, let me know in the comments as well. Like, what do you want to see me look at in upcoming videos? What do you want to see me review? What do you want to see me try out? Um, you know, is there more questions about how these work? Is this something that you're looking to put into your home? You know, put all that in the comments. Uh, I want to engage with you guys and, and get to know what you're thinking, what you're feeling, and uh, try to make some, some videos to best suit you. So thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Uh, like the video, always helps to get, the, get it out there and get it spread. Uh, and until the next video, thank you very much.